Hi, my name is Rose Luciano. I'm the founder and curator of Fruition Collective. So we are a platform for artists of all forms to highlight and amplify their work here. Uh, but we also work with entrepreneurs that are looking for a place to continue to grow their business, you know, really beginning stages. I love working with um, the underserved and unheard community. Uh, I'm all about diversity, love, and community. So uh, I really want to provide a platform downtown where um, all different kinds of artists. So I've worked with performing artists, magicians, circus, yoga instructors, graphic designers with tattoos. <laughs> this idea has been part of me. I think it, it is part of my journey in this walk of life that we have. Um, serving, I, I've worked uh, in many places, uh, last being the candy factory as a facilitator. So I got to listen to a lot of the community and I started to realize that there was um, a need for a space for nonprofits to be able to fundraise at, you know, and still have a beautiful facility. So that's why a venue. And then secondly, uh, I really wanted to give downtown the feeling like for myself, I didn't feel as much as I love to grow and I, I felt accepted. I come in many different shapes and sizes and looks and I felt that there was a lot of disconnect there. And uh, as I did the personal development, I, I wanted to be able to give back and see, you know, if someone wants the opportunity, they could have the platform as well. Mm -hmm. SCORE has been, uh, it's a game changer. It really is. I was introduced to SCORE um, going through the assets program. I was introduced to SCORE before that, but never emerged in it. So I just jumped in and met Larry. Uh, we had a conversation and from there, when I started to speak um, in the clouds, he understood me. Uh, I'm Larry Keating, I've been with SCORE about seven um, years. My, Rose is terrific, for starters. Uh, we met at an assets class that we were asked to help out with on business plans. Um, and we all paired off with, with the uh, students there. And I was uh, delighted that Rose wanted to uh, talk with me um, and in the time that I've known Rose I've learned a lot about our community um, I I thought that Lancaster was the easiest place to live in the world and it is maybe for me but not for everybody and she's uh, explained a lot of those uh, divides to me and she is working overtime to to break down any barriers that exist for anyone who is marginalized or feels marginalized. So my biggest challenges, I would say, I work with the arts side of my brain. Um, so when it comes to business, finances, and really figuring out what you really need to be sustainable. I was building a house of cards at, that had zero foundation, so sooner or later someone was gonna blow it and it was gonna fall. Um, so as much as I love building community, I still had to be able to build a foundation, and SCORE offers that. One of the main things is we're trying to market this space and her ability to uh, have an event uh, for people that are looking for something other than just a, a big mansion in the countryside, uh, other than the standard thing. Often, if you have a sort of an ordinary client, you do have a vision for them. You say, you know, you can be, you can be better than you think you are. You know, you, you've got a lot of talent, let's just get some focus here, put together a plan, and, and we'll move. Um, Rose uh, has so much vision of her own that I, I couldn't begin to <laughs> uh, compete. I just try to learn from her on those things. The goals are for her to be uh, self-sustaining, um, and I think she absolutely can get there. So, uh, within the community, I do know that I felt there was a disconnect at first. But once you start building that relationship, there's a lot that you have in common because they're business owners and they just want to help. Does it work? Absolutely, it does.